now it's Sunday morning, heading to church. Um, and we're actually not going to really, really be late. We're going to be rolling in right on time, which for us is pretty good. Because some, some Mondays are, I mean, see, I don't even know what day it is. Some Sundays are a struggle. Not going to lie. It has not rained yet. It is supposed to rain this afternoon. And we have to get our back calves sorted so we can take a load tomorrow morning. Right and early. Wes is excited to do that. Stay tuned. Okay, church is done. It was great. It's really good church service today. Um, fed my face. Now we're going to feed so much mud. So many mud holes, mud puddles, whatever you call them. Going to feed some silage. Evidently the, the tire fell off the silage wagon. So he's been trying to fix that. And uh, so he was supposed to have already fed, but he didn't. So now we're going to feed and then we need to sort some calves. And it sure looks like it's gonna rain any minute. <laughs> Just hope, hopefully that's not, it's gonna wait. It's not, it's not gonna happen. Hopefully it's gonna wait. So anyway, here we go. Another fun Sunday. Well, there's something we don't see very often. Where is it? No, oh yeah, right there. It's a helicopter. We have a small municipal, I think that's what, how you call it, airport nearby, but, so we get airplanes, but don't see. I was gonna say choppers, copters. Chop slick mud stage. Well, slick and sticky. It's like a good combination of both. Getting the scale set up. Working cows. Brother and sister really love right here. <laughs> that wasn't nice. Mm. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Uh, it went fine and it hasn't started raining yet. So, we do. We raise out a few calves for freezer beef every year or we have been for years every year he questions whether he's going to do it again it's it's time consuming and it honestly costs a lot of money to feed them but it's really good and we have people that have been buying for a long time and um it's just good we don't sell we don't sell year round we sell once a year we have them slaughtered packaged we go pick them up a few weeks later pick it up packaged, frozen, and people meet us at the farm and they pick up their meat and that's that for the year. So anyway, that's that. So my son gets to get up at like 3.30 in the morning <laughs> and go with my husband. It's like a two, almost a two hour drive um, to the processing facility. Some of you, what is the fancy word for that? Arbitor? Arbitor? Arbitor. No, that's why I just say process and plant. Um, I will probably have to get up and come help load the trailer. So anyway, that's where we're at. That's what we've been doing. It actually feels really good out here today when you've been moving around some. It's cool, but 
it's like a refreshing kind of cool. I don't know. Earlier it felt like snow, but now it feels good. <laughs> I'm done. It's too early for me. I'm never very good at directions here. I think I have some decent light. <laughs> gonna get them started. My son's waiting. And I'm gonna be here to help move them along after they get in. Not really awake, y'all. Three, three thirty is it's a little early for me, but it's not raining. It rained last night really hard, but it's not, it's not terrible this morning. So that's good. It's not freezing. It's like forty three. Totally bearable. So that's good too. And the lights. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Maybe. If I can. And they're off. I love that my boy, he's 10. I love that he gets up without complaining and helps and goes and does. I know he doesn't love doing it all the time, but he does it. I kind of think it's good for him. Mm. The goat is rolling some smoke out this morning. <laughs> All right. Oh, I always worry about him. To get there and back safe.